Hello and uh, welcome to this last webinar uh, of the series of webinars about Reach Out. And in this webinar, I'll make a, a short presentation of the Reach Out project and I'll finish with a, a summary of the activity of the project so far and some perspectives uh, for the years to come. So, Reach Out is a coordination and support action uh, which uh, is led by Front of a Focus and has two other project partners, OW2 and UCHSOFT. And myself, I'm Alexandre Levet from UCHSOFT. Uh, so where does reach out stand? It's, uh, it's, it stands in, in the framework of uh, re research or R&D projects and it's, its goal is to create values for projects. So the idea is that projects uh, create some, some code, some use cases, some demonstrators, but uh, users don't want just the code, they, they also want other product attributes which create value to that project. And this is what uh, Reach Out is all about. In fact, where we stand in is um, is in the time frame where the project has developed a better version, so which includes some uh, some development, uh, possibly some documentation, packaging, tutorials, etc., and is ready to have the code uh, tested by external users. Um, so this is what we call better testing campaigns and it's limited in time uh, to a limited audience. And uh, this is what Reach Out is targeting. So the benefits of beta testing campaigns are uh, in general, people think about the fact that it generates quality because the beta version usually undergoes some, uh, some testing and the beta testers can report some issues. Uh, so that will generate quality and uh, but also um, another one that people don't think about is that it especially in the framework of uh, collaborative projects where you have several partners it helps align the partners expectation by providing providing them a point of convergence they have to decide what they want to test uh, what is the uh, what is the target and uh, it, it's an important uh, side effect of beta testing campaigns. Another one, of course, is by asking beta testers some questions. You can uh, help, you can identify some future exploitation opportunities. And uh, if you run a beta testing campaign, then it will it will force you to enforce those other product attributes I was mentioning, because the software which you will put in the hands of beta testers needs to be properly packaged. You need to have possibly some tutorials at hand. I need to provide some documentation. The installation has to be uh, feasible by beta testers. You need to be ready to provide some support and to do some promotion action. So all these other attributes will be enforced by the fact that you're running a beta testing campaign. So what we like to say is, is if a project's ready to launch their beta testing campaign, then it means that it, the, the project has what it takes to bring value to the market, engage with the users, partners, and develop the ecosystem. So this is why uh, uh, Europe has uh, funded Reach Out to help projects make that extra step towards the market. So what's, what's, what Reach Out is about is to help you build and run your campaign successfully. Uh, so the, the Reach Out project uh, duration was between January 2019 and December 2021. And we've developed a number of uh, tools and services, which I will detail now. So the first one is the reach out methodologies. We did some uh, research and produced a document, which is the reach out methodology, which is in five stages. The first stage is about the strategy. So basically identify the campaign manager, who are, who are the partners involved, the support contacts, possibly incentives for better testers. Uh, the second stage is about technology, making sure the software is properly packaged, developing the test scenario and the questionnaire. Uh, the third one is about writing various things, such as the campaign page, uh, possibly a leaflet uh, for marketing, uh, some further documentation of tutorials if necessary. In the fourth stage, this is where you interact with the beta testers, doing some promotion action to recruit them and, and interact with them. And in the closing stage, you can uh, you, you, you can finalize your campaign dashboard and uh, possibly do some reporting. So we've built uh, what we call the Reach Out Beta Center, which contains a number of building blocks to help you uh, build your successful uh, beta testing campaign. 
So let's start with the campaign manager homepage. So this is where uh, the campaign manager can uh, uh, access the beta center and it, the homepage becomes active upon a self-service registration. So it's open to everyone to self-register and it gives a uh, campaign manager access to their project project description so they can describe the project and they can create and edit better testing campaigns access and tune the, the questionnaires and use the campaign dashboards so the campaign uh, web page is the landing page for each of the beta testing campaign that the campaign manager will uh, will, will build uh, it's a form that guides the campaign manager and automatically creates the campaign page the campaign manager can describe the beta testing uh, campaign itself, given the key dates, the requirements for participating in the beta testing, describe the scenario, provide the links for downloading uh, the software and documentation, how to use it, possible incentives if the project wants to provide incentives. And also we create uh, for you a mailing list which can be used by beta testers to interact with the campaign manager should they have any questions. Uh, we also uh, provide the campaign managers with a monitoring dashboard, which is a self-evaluation sheet made of 24 checkpoints divided in three sections, management, preparation and execution, which you can uh, use to follow the progress of your campaign, make sure you're not forgetting anything. And it can also be used if you like to report to other partners and to project reviewers. Uh, the questionnaire, so the, the uh, the questionnaire that we generate uh, initially is a generic questionnaire uh, which contains a well-balanced template of 34 questions so we did some research to find out which is the best balance between open questions and closed questions each of those questions is, are entirely customizable you can reword add your own remove questions uh, so we found projects who barely touched anything, there's one question that has to be um, customized because it says, were you able to perform step X, step Y, step Z? But apart from that, some we found some projects throughout the life of Reach Out who used the questionnaire as is, and some other ones who had their own questionnaire who replaced everything, and other ones who did a mix of picking our questions and adding their own. Uh, the uh, responses can be accessed through a dashboard and the statistics uh, where you can view the statistics or export all the responses. Also, the campaign manager will receive an email every time the campaign manager, uh, the beta tester provides some feedback. So we provide other templates and tools such as a beta documentation template, uh, some software packaging recommendation, a communication package to help you promote the campaign and recruit and motivate beta testers. Of course, we provide fine prints uh, regarding data privacy, and also we can help you uh, build the report based on the results that you have from the questionnaires. A typical timeline for a campaign, uh, so depending on how ready or you are already, you can uh, assume some preparation, one to two months, then we recommend that the campaign lasts between one to two months, so that's the uh, recruitment of beta testers and their uh, the actual uh, answers given by the beta testers themselves and finally uh, you can allow some time to complete the results and reports so uh, a word about recruiting beta testers so from the experience of uh, of, of reach out we can now say that the, the best people to know their potential beta testers is the projects themselves so it could be your colleagues, it could be uh, colleagues of uh, your partners, it could be university staff and or university students. Um, but also by using ReachOut, you become part of the ReachOut ecosystem and you benefit from other projects who have, uh, uh, who have put their campaigns in the past and who might also uh, wish to play the role of beta testers, just like we would expect from you to uh, be a beta tester for future campaigns on reach out and uh, reach out has been able also to advertise the beta testing campaigns in our uh, reach out newsletter uh, some promotion material and also on linkedin and on twitter in terms of recognition uh, we do realize that beta testers appreciate recognition that could be a good motivation for them so we provide uh, you can provide as a project your own goodies or your, your own mention on your website the beta testers 
uh, we also offer to each beta tester who provide their email address. By the way, it's it's not compulsory, but for those beta testers who wish to and provide their email address, we ask them permission to uh, to list them on the Reach Out Hall of Fame. And uh, we will be distributing a Reach Out End of Project prize as well. And also, uh, due to the COVID situation, we were able to turn some of our travel money into monetary rewards, which uh, which can be given to beta testers who give a full questionnaire as an answer with uh, useful suggestions to the project. Um, another promotion action uh, we've done is the test fest. So we run, we had two test fests, one earlier this year and a second one, uh, which has ended at the end of November. And the beta testers benefit from the regular incentives, that is the Hall of Fame and the monetary rewards. And in addition, uh, there will be a, well, there is a Reach Out Test Fest award, which is given to the beta tester with the most active participation uh, in the, during the Reach Out Test Fest timeframe and several best testing campaigns being uh, tested and useful suggestions. So the results of the uh, test, second test fest, which is now finished, will be announced on the 14th of December at 4 p.m. CET. So now uh, it's uh, the Reach Out project is uh, nearing its end, so it's time to, to give some figures about the results. So the, the beta center was actually open at the end of 2019. So over the past two years, we've had uh, 41 beta testing campaigns registered on Reach Out with some uh, 772 fully answered questionnaires. Uh, if you visit the, bet, the, the beta center hall of fame, you will see that you will find 39 beta testers who have accepted to be listed. Uh, we've run a number of webinars, whether public ones like this one or private ones to projects. Uh, so 50 so far. We've also been present at 17 various presentations and or workshops. And on the website, you'll be able to find four project uh, success stories for uh, better testing campaigns, which have been carried out using Reach Out. And this is a fifth one in preparation. Um, if we were to look at what are the attributes of a successful campaign, then we can say that if the scenario is well-defined and simple to execute, then this will uh, not deter better testers. So we've uh, we've had experience in, in the very first campaigns we had where the scenario was not very well defined or very clear. And in fact, those campaigns didn't have a very good uh, number of better testers. So that's the first uh, aspect. The second one is really reaching out to your potential beta testers. So you best know as a project, who are your users? Who are your potential beta testers? So you should try and contact them as much as you can, even though we help there uh, in terms of communication. And you can do also your own communication about the campaign to complement that uh, done by Reach Out. So some of you might be one. Uh, so some of you might be wondering what the testimonials are that we got from beta testers. So here's a number that uh, that we got. So when we contact the the beta testers uh, to ask them to whether they're happy to join the Hall of Fame, we also ask them to provide a, some feedback. And as you can see, the feedback is generally very positive. We also get some uh, constructive uh, suggestions, such as a search engine or a filtering capabilities for uh, for being able to search the, the campaigns. But basically, generally, the beta testers were also quite happy to use the platform. So as I mentioned earlier, the Reach Out project finishes at the end of 2021. However, Reach Out as a service will continue. Uh, it will become a service available to OW2 members. And this includes the Reach Out methodology, of course, which you can uh, rely on. And the Reach Out tools and templates will also be available, self-service uh, tools and customizable uh, campaign templates. Uh, and support will be provided as well. And the campaign promotion will be done in the framework of the OW2 monthly newsletter. So if you want to look at OW2 membership conditions, please visit the OW2 website. So typically, if you're, uh, if you're a research project in the future and would like to continue to use Reach Out, uh, what we'd recommend is one of the partners become an OW2 member to be able to access the services. So that's it. And um, so just as, as a reminder, uh, so Reach Out is still running as a project until the end of the month. If you register now 
uh, you'll be able to get support from reach out uh, during the first half of 2022, even though the monetary rewards will disappear because we won't have any budget, but we will continue some support for you. So we have a number of campaigns in the pipe at the moment, uh, which are due to open either this month or in January or February timeframe. And so if you're a, if you're an SME or so any European SME can also apply and get the services for free. If you're an SME, an R&D funded uh, H2020 project or uh, an open source project, you can benefit from the uh, reach out services. And starting next year, 2022, uh, the reach out services will continue and will be provided to OW2 member. So thanks very much for this uh, webinar for attending this webinar.